Welcome to My Secret Math Tutor. In this example, we want to solve a rational equation. Now, what a rational equation is, is basically one of these equations with rational expressions. Think fractions, all right? So, now, in order to solve one of these guys, basically we transform it into something much nicer. In order to transform it, we multiply through by the lowest common denominator, all right? So, let's see how this works by finding the lowest common denominator for our problem. So if we look at the two fractions here, I can see that I have a denominator of x plus 3 and another denominator with an x. This would make my lowest common denominator an x plus 3 and an x. All right. Now what you want to do with those is multiply on both sides of your equation by the LCD. Let's take a look at what this does. Okay, so when it multiplies on the left side, basically the x plus 3 on the top and the bottom will cancel each other out. If we look at the right side, it's the x's that will cancel out. So if you look at what's left over, we basically have a 2 times an x on the left and a 1 times an x plus 3 on the right. So we've transformed our rational e equation into something much nicer. And now we proceed to try and solve this. Maybe distribute our 1, get an x plus 3. Uh, let's see, get our x's on the same side by subtracting. So we'll end up with an answer like x equals 3. Now, you do have to be careful with the solutions to a rational equation. Even though it says x equals 3, it might not necessarily work in our original. This is because when we transform it into something nicer, we may introduce some extra solutions. These are known as extraneous solutions. So what you want to do once you find a solution is go ahead and take it and plug it back into the original just to see if it really works. All right, looks like we're in luck. This one does work, so I can definitely say that x equals 3 is my solution. All right? Now, keep that in mind that as you solve other rational equations, you may have to throw a few of them out if they do not work. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.